Tim Gaither is a great example of not judging a book by its cover. He's kind of quiet. He's uh, unassuming. But he gets on stage and he's quick, smart, and absolutely hilarious. That's a quote from a comedy club manager. Tim's at our favorite club this weekend, the Funny Bone in Village Point. Only place to be, right? He's taken the stage there before, <laughs> but you never joined us. Tim, thanks for stopping by the yeah, show this morning. For yeah, me. first time here on the Morning Blend. Uh, we want to get this right. You're born in Arkansas, uh, right. grew up in Kansas, though, so you're a Midwestern guy. I lived there until I was about five, Arkansas. I never had to go to school there. Yeah. He just wants to clear the air. <laughs> yeah. Make sure what he knows. You're educated in Kansas. Right. I grew up in Kansas and I moved to Hollywood about eight years ago. I started my comedy career in Kansas, which was a great place to start because it's it's right in the center of everything and there's yeah. so much work within an eight hour radius. And, yeah, uh, right. It was hard for me to move out to Hollywood. I lived on a farm. I was paying like $300 a month. Yeah. A friend of mine had it, like five acres on this farm. and. I certainly didn't farm it. I just, <laughs> I just lived there and paid him like this ridiculously small amount of rent and uh, saving all this money. It was hard to move out to Hollywood. Was it a little bit of a culture shock when you went from Kansas to Hollywood? A little bit. Like, you know how people in the Midwest are? Like, if you stop for gas and you ask for directions, mm -hmm. like, not only will the cashier help you, but like two or three people will stop <laughs> to make sure in, he's yeah. telling you the right way. <laughs> and then there'll be some guy waiting on the sidewalk like, you know what, just follow me. Those guys don't know what they're talking about. Right, right, right. You can't do that in Hollywood. If yeah. you stop in Hollywood for directions, they're like, hey, I'm lost. They're like, well, that is your problem. <laughs> you know, we, don't, we don't care. You pay, you pay to do anything here. Right. Even to use the restroom. You pay to pee here. So. But there's other Midwestern people out there. Do you all connect? I know there's kind of a group in, in Nebraska, for Nebraskans that are out there. They're like actors and comics, and well, they all kind of connect. Do you find that with, with the Kansas the with group? the Kansas people? Uh, actually, there are quite a few good comics from Kansas that live out there. Um, and, and and I don't mean to sound like there's no good people because there certainly <laughs> no, are uh, a lot of good people out there. But it, it, it is a bit of a culture shock at first, just because people are so friendly here compared to there you know yeah. Every, it, yeah. and it's not even that they're not friendly they just have their own thing going on they're, they're you know? busy they're busy yeah and sometimes yeah. you'll be talking to someone like in a party or a comedy club and and they're looking over your shoulder like is there any more <laughs> anyone more important i could be talking <laughs> to <laughs> i know yes i've been to la and i've gotten that impression too yeah, yeah. Uh, i was watching some video clips of you earlier uh you had longer hair about two months ago i did up until yeah three or four months ago i cut it um we were talking off air about how I, I got, uh, I could not handle Justin Bieber comments anymore. <laughs> it's like you can't have bangs. Was your, right? hair, was your hair that long though? You had the well, old my impression. hair was long and I don't know yeah. that his ever was. But anyway, it just, as a grown man, you can't have women coming up and going, I like your Bieber hair. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with that. So. Uh, did you get your start? Uh, somebody told me uh, you got your start in a church. Was that, the, is that kind of how the story goes? You started? Well, I was in? in church. I was five and, um, I went to a Southern Baptist church where they try to scare the heck out of you all the time. And they brought us up to the, the, the kids up to the front of the church. Mm -hmm. And for some reason they said, what do you think hell will be like? Which is, I guess, an appropriate question for a five-year-old. <laughs> 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 and I said, and the week before my dad, I had, I had asked my dad to carry me in the parking lot because I didn't have any shoes on. Mm -hmm. It was like the 4th of July, it was hot. So I was like, preacher, hell will be hotter than the J.C. Penney parking lot on the 4th <laughs> of July. <laughs> And the whole church started laughing, <laughs> and I, I was like, I like that. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So every week I would go up there and try to make the church laugh somehow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, sometimes they would, and sometimes I would say stuff, and they wouldn't. And even from an early age, I was like, ah, they just didn't hear that right, because right. that was good. So were your buddies, <laughs> as you got older, were people telling you, you are funny, you got to be a comic? or Because there's some people that... They're just good writers, you know, mm -hmm. but then there's other people just naturally funny people. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, I was funny, like, I, I am kind of quiet normally, like, I, I kind of had to pick my moments, like, mm -hmm. in class. Um, I would wait for the right moment to be funny. Um, and I always kind of had it in the back of my mind that I might do this, but I just, I was just going to coach wrestling and teach. I just figured that's what I would do, but the closer I got to doing that, the closer I didn't want to do that. Uh, I, went, I did like a teacher aiding and did like those middle school kids. Yeah. Oh, no. And if anything will make you not want to be a teacher, it's middle school kids. <laughs> At yeah. least when you're 21, like I was, right. and uh, I started punks. freaking out about it. And then a friend of mine had me listen to a CD and uh, of this comedian I'd never heard of, Bill Hicks. And I thought, that's the funniest guy I've never heard of. Yeah. I, that's the funniest guy I've ever heard, yeah. and I've never, never heard, heard of him. Of him. Yeah. So to me, that meant even if I never do this, even if I never got famous, I could do this for a living, 
and I changed my major the next day and got a social science degree and started doing open mics. And, and started doing it. And you were telling Chi and myself, um, and a lot of people here in Nebraska would love to hear this. You're a huge wrestling fan. Love wrestling. You wrestled all the way, you know, growing up all the way into college a little bit. And yep. Jordan Burroughs is one of yeah. your favorite guys you like to watch wrestle. Here's a oh, Nebraska yeah. guy. I went to the World Championships in, uh, I guess they were in, uh, they were in Vegas. And then I went to the uh, World Team Trials or the Olympic Trials in Iowa recently and got to watch those guys, and they are so good. Like, mm -hmm. if you bump into someone like Jordan, in, like in the hallway, mm -hmm. it hurts. Like, they are that, they're, these guys are just rocks. What makes them good, just their quickness? I mean, and because you can learn all these moves. If you're a wrestler, there's moves, right? Yeah, um, quickness and strength and uh, agility, and I mean, Jordan yeah. Burroughs has it all, but uh, and he also works extremely hard. But, uh, like, I was a state champion in high school, but then when you get to college, you realize, like, Everyone's a state champion yeah, from right, college. Right, right. You know, it's it's suddenly not that big a deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's just <laughs> well, amazing those guys. She likes wrestlers too. Oh yeah, yeah, she does. For different reasons. Uh, Funnybonomod.com. You can see Tim there all weekend. Two shows tonight. Two shows tomorrow. One on Sunday. Tim, he's been to Omaha before, and he's got a great following here in Omaha. The Funnybonomod.com. Tim, hey, thanks for stopping by. Thank Appreciate you guys. It. Have a great time in Omaha. It. Alrighty. Today, National Middle Child Day. So on social media, we're asking, where do you fall in your family's birth order? Where, where, where are you at? Number, number one. one. I'm number one here too. Tim, best. where are you at? With what? Yep. What's your birth order? Oh, I am number three. <laughs> Tim's number three. He's a, he's a number three guy. Join the discussion on Facebook at Morning Blend Omaha. So she put on a show last night in Lincoln. Tomorrow, taking the stage with Big and Rich at Warner Park. And this morning with us. Next, a live performance by Rachel Price, what she just released and what's coming soon.